Good day everybody, it's Christy from OK Keto. So today I'm going to do a chocolate peanut butter toasted coconut chawaffle. And this is how I'm going to do it. I have one large brown egg brought to room temperature and whisked in my bowl. I have half an ounce of cream cheese softened. I preheat my um, dash and I put my little metal bowl on top of there and I just let it soften it for me as I swirl it around. So I'm going to add this to my cream cheese. We're going to do one tablespoon of semi-sweet style baking chips. I'm using Lily's today, but you can use the Bake Believe. They're just as good, in my opinion. So one tablespoon, and then I finely chop it as well. One tablespoon of Swerve Confectioners. One and a half tablespoon of coconut that I toasted. All I did was put that in a skillet with nothing in it and just toasted it. And then I have a half a tablespoon off to the side. So all together you're going to toast one and a half tablespoons of coconut. And then I have one tablespoon of natural peanut butter. I'm using Smuckers today. And this is the coconut I'm using. It's a Let's Do Organic Unsweetened Shredded Coconut. This is very fine. It's for baking and such. So that's the coconut I chose to use. Now let's get started. So again, I have my little dash preheating. I'm going to go ahead and put my peanut butter in the bowl. To be honest with you, this is kind of inspired by a um, Butterfinger candy bar as the inspiration for this. I mean, of course, it's not going to have that crunchiness of it, and it's not going to be just like a Butterfinger, but it is what inspired it. I'm going to go ahead and add my other ingredients, the toasted coconut, one tablespoon, the one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner, and my chopped Lily's chips. Again, we do have a half a tablespoon of the toasted coconut off to the side because when they, these are done, I'm going to put drizzled chocolate on top of it and then um, sprinkle it with the toasted coconut. My mother, her favorite candy is a Chico stick. So I'm thinking if you left the chocolate out, this might taste like one. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's, like I said, it's not gonna have that snap crunchiness of a Chico stick, but it, it might have the flavor of it, especially with the toasted coconut. Might be one she would be willing to try. Smells so good, especially that toasted coconut. Okay, there is what it looks like. I'm going to put half of my mixture into my dash. Of course, this is going to make two. I'm going to spread it all about. And I'm going to close my lid. When it's to the consistency I like, I'm going to take it out, put it on my handy dandy cooling rack. When I have them made, two of them made, the real, oh, let me explain this. I'm sorry, I, I forget sometimes not everybody watches all of the videos. The reason I put it on a cooling rack is if I put it directly on a plate, the condensation will cause it to get soggy on the bottom. And I personally don't like that. So I always put mine on a cooling rack when they come out. So after they get um, on my cooling rack. I'm going to drizzle it with the Lily's chocolate chips on top and then I'm going to top it with the toasted coconut and I will come back and show you plated up. And here it is plated up. I'm trying to get you a close up. There's the chocolate and the toasted coconut on top. There's the top view and the side view. And of course, any video that you see, we have tried. If we did not like it, 
I would not upload it. I am not going to eat this right now. I'm actually going to stick it in the fridge and have it this evening for my dessert. It's only 2 p.m. as of right now. So, just wanted you to know, if you are watching this, that means we did like it. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I did go ahead and cut it in half so I can show you the inside. I know some people like to see that, and I forgot to do that. So, let me go ahead and show you the inside. That's what it looks like. Looks messy, but delicious.